Well, Tom, new at five, this woman is in jail tonight, accused of attacking a Lawrenceville mother and daughter. Now, the mother claims the woman was wearing a burqa when she took their American flag and attacked. Fox 5's Angelique Proctor talked to that mother. She joins us now live with the latest. Angelique? You know, this story is hard to believe, Sinead. This uh, Lawrenceville mother tells me she did absolutely nothing to provoke this attack. She says she was sitting on her own property when a total stranger picked up her American flag and started charging her with it. I've got friends that have fought and died for the red, white, and blue. When she took it down, it was not disrespect, and it was not a slap in the face. It was a punch to the gut. Damie Arno says she still can't believe total stranger Amina Ara had the audacity to attack her and her family with their own American flag. The Lawrenceville wife and mother says the unprovoked assault came out of nowhere as she and her daughter were talking in the privacy of their garage. And a lady walks up out of our, our woods in a full burqa, full attire, and stands there and stares at us for a minute and then grabs my American flag off of my mailbox and charges towards us with it, just swinging it with all her might. She came charging, you know, it's kind of like mama bear instincts kind of kicked in, and mama said she's got to protect her children. I've got a bruise there. Miss Arno showed us bruises she said she sustained while fighting with the 30-year-old intruder she described as possessed. Oh, she gave me a run for my money at 6263. She gave me a run for my money. My daughter actually, my daughter and son actually were, were right in there with me. Arno says her 14-year-old son grabbed the family gun and threatened to shoot the female suspect. But she says the suspect didn't stop until two neighbors came and held her down. Then police arrived. Sounds like you're sitting there going, this is crazy, not, not on American soil. That's what I thought until it happened to me, my kids, and on my property with my own flag. Now, there is a little bit of mystery around this suspect. She will only tell jail officials that she is from Africa. She will not say which country. She also has given them no local address. And I talked to the Arnos today. They say they are upset that she's only charged with two misdemeanors. They believe this was a hate crime. Reporting live from Gwinnett County, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. Yeah, some disturbing details there. All right, Angelique, thanks.